Hello, 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 and as they say, hello and welcome to Railway World, your smorgasbord of railway videos from the internet. And in this programme we travel just about as far as you can travel as we go to the railway at the end of the world. We traipse all the way to China for just one shot. But hey, what a shot. We um, move manure around in some small tipper trucks and we see an LGB layout that, well, has to be seen, really. Uh, and of course, like a freight train hurtling towards us out of control, we have train crash of the week. That's all coming up. But first of all, we go to Argentina and the train Delfin del Mundo. Given its position as the southernmost railway in the world, I'd have called it train at the end of the world. But hey, you know, that's just me. eran subidos a las vagonetas, encrillados, con sus pies colgando hacia el vacío, con sus clásicos uniformes. Many thanks to Carl Malone for shooting that lovely video for us down there in Argentina. And many thanks to Dudley Hubbard for shooting this next film for us. It's a real uh, working railway that someone's built to move horse manure around. Lots of jokes here, but um, there are kids watching, so uh, I'll stay clear of them. Last week I showed you a clip of a snow plough in action in Canada and almost inevitably uh, we've had a flurry of snow plough videos sent in. 
Um, so many, in fact, I could have almost started a snowplow of the week uh, feature. I won't, but uh, I will show you this one, and it serves to remind us that other people's misfortunes are always the best misfortunes. Yeah, they, uh, they dug it out, if you really want to know. And uh, now then, uh, like me, you will probably be wondering what on earth is going on here. Now here we have the tog and the technical designing. And Martin, who begins to be ready with midget, that's good. Come on, Martin! Come on, Nick! Have you got some batteries here? Yes, I have some extra batteries here. Come on, Lillian! Yes! Henry! Isn't that fantastic? I'm not sure what country that comes from, but uh, it really made me smile uh, when I saw that the first time. And uh, now we all know uh, what's going on. Why don't we have a look at it again? Now here we have the and the technical designing. And Martin, who begins to be ready with midget, that's good. Come on, Nick! Have you got some batteries here? Yes, I have some extra batteries here. Come on, Lillian! Yes! Henry! Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, I really, really uh, like that a lot. Um, genius, whoever thought of that one. Uh, now then, an LGB layout that defies belief. The uh, sound chips and smoke effects combine here to, um, well, superb effect. And the background modelling is really in another league altogether. The Fallow Road system is, um, well, just amazing. Um, have a look at this.
all right, all right, it was a real railway. When was the game up? When that lady cycled past the bike? I thought so. Quick note to self though, must visit Hearts, North Central Germany, because that's where that railway is. Marvellous. Uh, now then to China, Chinese steam, a double header. You want steam? <sighs> Loads of it here. Uh, now then, uh, here it is, the moment we've been waiting for, train crash of the week. Oakley dokley as uh, some people say, short but sweet. Let's have a look at that again. And um, well, we can see the uh, the people carrier comes into shot here and draws up. He's uh, he's clearly obeying the uh, the uh, signals. And uh, the lorry, well, he's making his way to the railroad crossing. And the people carrier driver realizes, I think, what's going on because he starts to retreat as the train. Whoo! That is such a clean amputation that I wonder whether the lorry driver had really realised what was going on there. Do you want to see it again? OK, here it is. Lovely, perfect way to end a programme. Uh, that's it. Many thanks to everyone who sent us those contributions in. And if you spot something on the internet that you think the rest of the world should see, then please do send me the link. Mark at the railwaychannel.com is my email address. That's mark at the railwaychannel.com. There it is, uh, written just below me there, very nicely in a very funny font. I don't know what that's all about. Um, and just before I go, don't forget uh, if you support us here at the Railway Channel, you like watching these sort of programmes uh, and you'd like to keep it free, then click and add. 
all right well click loads of them actually if you can possibly manage it because as someone says here in the uk every little helps i'll see you on the next one Ciao.